Have you ever wondered why the Israel and Iraq conflict remains unresolved despite decades of attempts at mediation? Our story begins in the heart of the Middle East, where two nations, Israel and Iraq, have been entangled in a complex web of conflict for years. This contentious relationship is a product of deep-seated historical, political and religious factors that have fueled animosity and mistrust between these two countries. Let's set the scene. Israel, a small nation forged in the aftermath of the Second World War, has been a focal point of regional tension since its inception. Its establishment was met with resistance from many neighboring Arab countries, including Iraq, who viewed it as a foreign entity imposed upon them. On the other hand, Iraq, a country rich in history and cultural heritage, has had its share of internal strife and external conflicts. However, its dispute with Israel has remained one of the most enduring issues, characterized by periods of open hostility, proxy wars, and diplomatic standoffs. The core reasons for this conflict are multifaceted. They range from disagreements over territorial boundaries and the status of Jerusalem, to ideological differences and the broader Arab-Israeli conflict. The stakes are high, and the implications of this dispute extend far beyond the borders of these two countries. Today, the conflict persists, with no definitive resolution in sight. It's a volatile situation, influenced by regional power dynamics, international politics and the ever-changing global landscape. The recent escalation in tensions has only served to underscore the urgency and complexity of this issue. But what exactly is at play here? Who are the key players and why does this conflict matter? To understand this, we need to delve into the historical progression of this conflict, exploring its roots, its evolution, and its impact on the region and the world at large. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve deeper into the historical progression of this conflict. The Israel-Iraq conflict didn't happen overnight. It has roots in the historical events of the region. Let's take a step back and examine the historical backdrop. The establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 was a significant milestone in the region. This event, however, was not without controversy. It led to the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians, an event now known as the Nakba, or catastrophe in Arabic. This displacement sparked a series of conflicts and tensions in the region that are still felt today. Iraq, a nation with a strong Arab identity, was one of the many countries that rejected the establishment of Israel. Iraq's stance was clear, they viewed the displacement of Palestinians as unjust and the establishment of Israel as an illegitimate act. This perspective led Iraq to participate in several wars against Israel, cementing a contentious relationship that would last for decades. But it wasn't just about the displacement of Palestinians, the conflict also had a religious dimension. The city of Jerusalem, a city sacred to Jews, Christians and Muslims alike, became a focal point of contention. Israel's control over Jerusalem was seen by many Arab and Muslim countries, including Iraq, as a direct affront to their religious and historical claims to the city. Moreover, the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East was changing. The emergence of the US and China as global superpowers, each with its own interests in the region, added another layer of complexity to the Israel-Iraq conflict. As we've seen in recent years, the Middle East has become a battleground for US-China competition, with countries like Iraq caught in the middle. The conflict between Israel and Iraq is also rooted in the broader Arab-Israeli conflict. Iraq, as a member of the Arab League, has often acted in solidarity with other Arab nations against Israel. This solidarity has fueled the conflict, making it not just a bilateral issue, but a regional one. As we've seen, these historical events laid the groundwork for a conflict that would span decades. The conflict between Israel and Iraq didn't stay confined to these two nations. It had far-reaching implications. As the clash between Israel and Iraq escalated, it didn't take long for it to transform into a broader regional conflict. Take, for instance, the surprise terrorist attack by Hamas on Israel, which led to casualties and hostages. This attack was met with a swift and stern response from Israel, who declared a state of war and launched a complete siege on Gaza. The result? A significant increase in the death toll. But this wasn't all. The conflict began to seep across borders, Israel found itself under attack by Hezbollah in the north, 
while its forces were busy targeting Gaza's supply crossings in the south. The war was rapidly spiralling out of control. Experts started to voice their concerns, warning that this conflict could potentially draw in neighbouring countries and even lead to an Israeli attack on Iran. The deployment of the USS Gerald R. Ford carrier strike group to the Mediterranean was seen as a clear message of readiness to engage if necessary. The conflict also had serious geopolitical implications. The Middle East, a region already marked by significant changes, found itself at the heart of a growing US-China rivalry. The United Arab Emirates' decision to suspend a multi-billion dollar purchase of US-made F-35 aircraft in favor of maintaining ties with China was a clear indicator of this shift. The US faced challenges in offering competitive alternatives to China's lucrative deals, which led Middle Eastern countries to gravitate towards Beijing. The US pressure tactics, such as discouraging Lebanon from seeking Chinese investments, were proving ineffective. The US also faced credibility issues on human rights and espionage accusations, particularly in light of recent scandals. In conclusion, the Israel-Iraq conflict didn't just affect the two nations involved. It triggered a chain of events that led to a wider regional conflict and created a new geopolitical fault line in the Middle East. The region's evolving dynamics suggest a shift towards closer ties with China, potentially reshaping the region's geopolitical landscape in the long term. The Israel-Iraq conflict has left a deep and lasting impact on the Middle East and the world. Despite the seemingly insurmountable challenges, numerous attempts have been made to resolve the Israel-Iraq conflict. The road to peace is often a long and winding one, and in this case, it's been marked by a series of significant efforts. One of the earliest attempts at resolution came in the form of peace treaties. These treaties, brokered by various international entities, aim to establish a sense of normalcy and mutual respect between the warring nations. They sought to address contentious issues such as territorial disputes and security concerns with the ultimate goal of fostering peaceful coexistence. In addition to these treaties, the United Nations has played a pivotal role in the conflict resolution process. The UN has passed numerous resolutions aimed at de-escalating tensions and prompting dialogue. These resolutions have called for everything from ceasefires to the withdrawal of troops and have often been accompanied by appeals for humanitarian aid. Mediation efforts by various countries have also been crucial in attempts to resolve the conflict. These countries, acting as neutral third parties, have tried to facilitate dialogue and negotiation between Israel and Iraq. They've worked tirelessly to bring the two sides to the table, encouraging them to find common ground and work towards a peaceful resolution. Yet despite these concerted efforts, the path to peace remains elusive. Each attempt at resolution has been met with its own set of challenges, from political resistance to unforeseen escalations in violence. And while some progress has been made, the conflict has proven to be stubbornly resilient. This resilience is a testament to the complexity of the Israel-Iraq conflict. It's a conflict rooted in deep-seated political, cultural and territorial disputes, and resolving it requires more than just diplomatic efforts. It requires a fundamental shift in attitudes and perceptions, a shift that has yet to fully occur. While these attempts have had varying degrees of success, the conflict remains unresolved to this day. So what does the future hold for the Israel-Iraq conflict? As we look ahead, the landscape appears complex and unpredictable. The shifting sands of the Middle East are heavily influenced by global politics, with the growing rivalry between the United States and China adding another layer of complexity. Current geopolitical trends suggest a potential shift in the region's alliances. The Middle East has shown signs of transitioning from conflict to cooperation. Yet it has also become a battleground for US-China competition, as illustrated by the United Arab Emirates' decision to maintain ties with China over a multi-billion dollar purchase of US-made aircraft. China's growing economic influence in the region through initiatives like the Belt and Road Project presents an alternative to traditional US dominance. This trend could potentially reshape the region's geopolitical landscape and impact the Israel-Iraq conflict. Meanwhile, the recent escalation of violence between Israel and Gaza raises concerns among experts. 
They warn that this could spiral into a full-blown regional conflict, potentially drawing in neighboring countries and even leading to an Israeli attack on Iran. Such an escalation could further complicate the Israel-Iraq conflict and make a peaceful resolution even more challenging. Nonetheless, it's important to highlight the critical need for continued efforts towards peace. The quest for a peaceful resolution must not be overshadowed by these potential future scenarios. This includes diplomatic initiatives, dialogue, and the promotion of mutual understanding between the nations involved. It's also essential to remember that the future is not set in stone. While these scenarios are based on current trends and expert predictions, they are not definitive. The course of the Israel-Iraq conflict, like any other, can be influenced by unexpected events, policy changes, and the collective will of the people for peace. While the future of the Israel-Iraq conflict remains uncertain, one thing is clear. The quest for a peaceful resolution must continue. It's a journey that will require patience, resilience, and a shared commitment to a better, more peaceful future for all.